So Guillermo, you guys can get back with that lunch. We're almost there. Um, yeah, thank you. So what I'm going to go over on this one is we need to find the volume. Now, if you guys notice this, this is a cylinder, and it's kind of slanted, which we call an oblique. So John, when I'm going over this on the homework, it would be probably helpful if you didn't do this one or had troubles to write this one down um, for you on this. So again, please don't do that again, or we're going to have issues. Um, when we go ahead and take a look at this, what we simply need to do is find the volume, which is base times height. All right? So I'll, this is question number eight, I believe. So the homework from last night. So now all we simply need to do is be able to determine the area of the base and the height. So we look at this and we see the base is a circle. So to find the area of the base, that equals pi r squared, which in this case my r is 3. which is 9 pi. Then I need to be able to determine the height. Well, what is the height? How tall is this cylinder? I know it's slanted, but you can see from the base to the top is 5 inches. Volume equals 45 times pi. Now remember, this is inches, so our unit is going to be cubed. So it will be inches cubed. Now I just take my calculator that somebody stole. And I say that 45 times pi is going to be 141.4 inches cubed. Huh? A oh, volume is a lot easier than surface area. A lot less work as well. Everybody OK? Any questions?